All information in this video is for information purposes only and is not intended to serve as a substitute for the consultation, diagnosis, and or medical treatment of a qualified physician or healthcare provider. Hello everyone. Today, we are going to talk about amlodipine. Amlodipine is a medicine to treat high blood pressure and also comes with or without other medications. Amlodipine belongs to a class of drugs known as calcium channel blockers. It works by relaxing blood vessels so blood can flow more easily. Let's talk about how to use amlodipine. Take this medicine by mouth with or without food as directed by your doctor, usually once daily. Amlodipine is used for Lowering high blood pressure It helps in preventing strokes Amlodipine prevents heart attacks And it prevents kidney problems Amlodipine is also used to prevent certain types of chest pain or angina It may help to increase your ability to exercise and decrease the frequency of angina attacks It should not be used to treat attacks of chest pain when they occur Use other medications such as sublingual nitroglycerin to relieve attacks of chest pain as directed by your doctor. Some brands of the liquid form of this medication should be shaken before use, while other brands should not be shaken before use. Check the manufacturer's information or ask your pharmacist for specific directions. Carefully measure the dose using a special measuring spoon. Do not use a kitchen spoon because you may not get the correct dose. Let's talk about amlodipine dosage. The dosage is based on your medical condition and response to treatment. Your doctor may gradually increase your dose. Follow your doctor's instructions carefully. Use this medication regularly to get the most benefit from it. To help you remember, take it at the same time each day. Keep taking this medication even if you feel well. Tell your doctor if your condition does not improve or if it worsens for example, your blood pressure readings remain high or increase, chest pain continues or worsens. Let's see the side effects of amlodipine. Side effects of amlodipine include edema or swelling, pulmonary edema or excess fluid in the lungs, headache, fatigue, palpitations, dizziness, nausea, Flushing, abdominal pain, sleepiness, male sexual disorder, drowsiness, itching, skin rash, muscle cramps, and muscle weakness. Let's see some important expert advice for amlodipine. Take it at the same time every day to help you remember to take it. A sudden drop in your blood pressure may occur especially when you first start taking amlodipine. To lower the chance of feeling dizzy or passing out, rise slowly if you have been sitting or lying down. It can cause ankle or foot swelling. To reduce the swelling, raise your legs while you are sitting down. Talk to your doctor if it does not go away. It may cause dizziness. Do not drive or perform any activity that requires mental focus, until you know how amlodipine affects you. Inform your doctor if you are pregnant, planning a pregnancy, or breastfeeding. Frequently asked questions for amlodipine. How long does it take for amlodipine to work? Amlodipine starts working on the day it is taken. However, it may take weeks to see the full effect. You should continue taking the medicine even if you feel better or if you do not notice any considerable difference. Consult your doctor if you have any concerns or you feel worse after taking the medicine. Let's see the second most frequently asked question. Does amlodipine cause itching? Amlodipine may cause itching in some patients, though it is an uncommon side effect. However, if you experience severe itching contact your doctor.
Let's see the third most asked question. Is amlodipine bad for the kidneys? The answer to this question is no, there is no evidence that amlodipine causes deterioration of kidney problems. Amlodipine can be used in normal doses in patients with kidney problems. In fact, its blood pressure lowering effect, it helps to prevent injury to the kidneys due to hypertension. Let's see the fourth most asked question. Should I take amlodipine in the morning or at night? Amlodipine can be taken any time of the day. Usually, it is advised to be taken in the morning. But your doctor may advise to take it in the evening as well. Let's see the fifth most asked question. For how long do I need to take amlodipine? You should keep on taking amlodipine for as long as your doctor has recommended you to take it. You may need to take it lifelong. Do not stop taking it, even if you feel well or your blood pressure is well controlled. If you stop taking amlodipine, your blood pressure may increase again and your condition may worsen. Let's see the sixth most asked question. Is amlodipine a beta blocker? No, amlodipine is not a beta blocker. It belongs to a class of medicines known as calcium channel blockers. It lowers blood pressure by relaxing the blood vessels, so that blood can easily flow through the blood vessels. Let's see the seventh most asked question. What should I avoid while taking amlodipine? Consult your doctor first before starting any new prescription or non-prescription medicines or supplements. Take low-sodium and low-fat diet and adhere to the lifestyle changes as advised by your doctor. Avoid eating grapefruit or drinking grapefruit juice while taking amlodipine. Stop smoking and taking alcohol while taking amlodipine. So these are the brief discussion on amlodipine. I hope you have learned and enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, share, Subscribe and click the bell icon for more update. Thanks for watching.